Passionate Living with Kat Miller is brought to you by Healthy Communities 2030. For more information, go to creatinghealthycommunities.org. this week's edition of Passionate Living. I'm excited about today's show as our featured guest is best-selling author, Dr. Hyla Cass, who shares some insights with us about how to boost our immune systems, lower stress levels, and decrease depression through natural approaches. We'll also catch up with one of my favorite musicians, the very talented Allison Pipitone. But first, Let's go on a mini adventure with thin ice owner Therese Deutschlander and meteorologist Don Paul as we learn how to make a healthy version of the margarita. I am at my favorite store today. I have my mask on, walking in. Let's see if Therese is here. Oh my God, Therese, you are Hi. here. Hi, <laughs> good to see you. Nice to see you. If we're six feet, would it be all right if yep, I took my mask, mask off? off? Sure. Okay, great. Thank you. What have you been doing during Re your stay at home? Rearranging. Um, I actually never stayed home. I came in every day. So I've got the store yeah. cats, so oh. I have to come in every day. Okay. But so yeah, I was here rearranging. I worked on the website a ton. We have a lot of website sales. Right. I mean, I have local artists, so I'm very lucky right. in that my supply chain doesn't really get affected. But so I stayed in contact with all my artists. I, I love Therese. Not only is she an amazingly talented local business owner here in Western New York and uh, helps with the whole Elmwood Village, but She's my bud now. Yep. So, do you want to go have a drink? Yeah, that'd be fun. Now that the patios now, are open? Now the patios are open, and now I've got my girls, but I have this amazing team of workers here, and I'm so oh, happy that's that they wonderful. can be coming back. Not so that I can go out and have a drink, but it's a nice perk. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, sounds good. We wanted to try something that people could do at home, and I brought the perfect person to taste test with us. And here he is, Don Paul. I figure you are like a connoisseur of fine drinks after doing the news all those years, right? Home. Oh, okay. Noel is our bartender. So basically what we're doing, we're doing a fresh margarita. You can easily make it at home. Um, so all you need is three limes, fresh orange, uh, Cointreau, and uh, you can do either silver or reposado tequila. Um, and then we do need a little bit of agave. Ooh, that looks that. great. Some three limes in there, fresh limes. All right. That looks <laughs> very already. refreshing, that's for sure. It sells a lot here. And it's healthy for you because the limes have mm -hmm. vitamin C in them. They're very that's good right. for you. They also alkaline for your system. Basically half an orange. You could do the whole orange if you want to. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. A lot of vitamin C in there. Yeah, I love it. And then the, the agave has to have some, uh, the tequila, you know, the agave plant. It's got to have some medicinal qualities, right? right. Good for the soul, right? We do yeah. a shot of Cointreau. Okay. I have no soul. Then we do a double shot of tequila. Uh, you can do a triple shot if you want to. Uh, All right. We do only two. <laughs> you can make it to taste. Well, we're there sharing it, so you can do a double one. And we'll have and then we do a little bit of agave in there. A little agave, beautiful. Um, and you can make this with or without alcohol. It's still a refreshing yep. drink for the summer. You have any Oh, my God. Oh, the Lord. It's a glass. Both the rim. in there. Oh, that's beautiful, no? Oh. Pretty sure with a splice of orange in there. Hey! All right, well, here we go, guys. Taste test for the fresh margaritas. Okay. Oh, my God. May I quote the lady? Jackie Gleason. Oh, please do. Mm, that's good food. <laughs> <laughs> delicious, delicious. 
some of your older viewers. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Noah, for the drinks. They're absolutely delicious. Well, you, you can make these, you can make these at home with or without the alcohol, but we are imbibing with the tequila today. Yeah, and if, if you're in the Erie County Holding Center, you have to make it without the alcohol. It's a household tip. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to our home video segment of the show. This week, my friend Robert Nian sent me a video of what he's been up to during this period of spending more time at home. Robert is at a friend's house in North Carolina where they decided to build their own zip line on the property. Remember to send us your home video, and if we use it, we'll be sure to send you some M Pretty lipstick. And if you don't wear lipstick, no worries, as you can give it to someone you love. Or, as I always like to say, you can give it to someone you'd like to love. Be sure to join us after a quick word from our sponsors when we meet best-selling author and renowned integrative medicine expert, Dr. Hyla Cass. She'll share some valuable insights about how to boost our immune systems and naturally decrease stress and depression levels. We'll be right back. I way out of New York and I meet the divine driver. My divine driver. <laughs> what, is, what is your name? My name is Shelly. Shelly, I'm yes. Kat. I love her. We're, we're bonded. It was instant. It, it was instant. instantaneous. <laughs> Today's guest is a very, very special woman. Um, Dr. Hyla Cass is naturally acclaimed innovator and expert in the fields of integrative medicine, psychiatry, addiction recovery, and you've probably seen her on Dr. Oz, E! Entertainment, The View, not to mention the Huffington Post and a number of other media outlets. She is the author of several best-selling books, one of my favorites, uh, Natural Highs, um, Eight Weeks to Vibrant Health, Supplement Your Prescription, What Your Doctor Doesn't Know About Your Nutrition, and The Addicted Brain and How to Break Free. Of course, for me, uh, one of the most important roles is that she is my dear friend and soul sister. Welcome to the show, Hyla. It's great to have you here today on Passionate Living. Oh, it's such a pleasure. And you talk about all of the natural herbs, supplements, what's available out there on the market that actually works, that doesn't mean you have to run to the medicine chest and take drugs all the time. Could you talk Absolutely. about that? I mean, we have been so brainwashed as a society. We have drug advertisements on TV. I mean, that should be banned. It is in most countries. And people think that you need to have a pill for every ill and in the world of psychiatry it's it's i think it's criminal you know if somebody um you, you go to a doctor you're feeling stressed anxious depressed look under the hood what's going on in that person's life they may actually have a physical issue they may have a thyroid problem or an adrenal problem uh, they may have an infection. They may have Lyme disease, for heaven's sake. I mean, there's, I'm, I'm getting pretty far afield here. Right. But there, a person deserves a workup. I do, and people, uh, the other healers that I know, practitioners, um, doctors, nutritionists, acupuncturists, whatever, we are working with the body's own chemistry and own physiology. And it's miraculous. You know, when you give the support that's needed, right. it really does look like a miracle. But that is how, how it's all made. That's how we're made. That's how the world is made. Now, let me ask you this, Hyla. If somebody is watching right now, uh, what are three things that someone can do that are simple to improve their overall health and wellness? Just three simple little things that they could start with if they're not already doing them. One of the things is to be in the moment which is kind of hard because we're always thinking about, you know, we're worried about the future, we're thinking about the past, and it's kind of hard to be present, but being present, and this is something that you really teach, it is so important because when you're in the present, you experience what is. 
And that's what we're here for. And we need to train our minds. We have monkey minds. So having a meditation practice is very important. And there are many, many different meditation practices. There's moving meditations if you can't keep still. It's a matter of focus, presence, mindfulness. So that's one thing that I think is, is key to feeling good and dealing with particularly the ongoing stress of the, right. the present time. Um, the other thing to pay attention to is diet. What you put into your body becomes your body. Food is a message. Food carries a tremendous amount of information. And we need to have pure, good food, not GMO modified, because that's going to go enter into our bodies and become part of us. What is the impact that sugar has on the body? Terrible. It, it throws off our our sugar and insulin reaction, we become insulin resistant, gain weight, um, have, it, it's inflammatory, sugar is highly inflammatory. The last thing we want is inflammation. Inflammation is what causes dementia, causes gut problems, causes joint problems. We know we have autoimmune disease. You don't want to do anything that's inflammatory. And the, the, the good news is I can get people off sugar by replenishing the right nutrients in their body and brain. You get the right nutrients, the sugar cravings actually go away and you don't have to white knuckle it. I even do this what for- are some of those? Tell us. <laughs> you, listen, you can do it for alcohol too. One of the simple ones is glutamine, L-glutamine. Right. You take um, a thousand, 500 to 1,000 milligram capsule open it up under your tongue when you're feeling a sugar craving right. and or an alcohol craving. And it, people are just amazed. Put it under your tongue, goes down. It's like, oh, how about that? I'm going to try that today when I have a sugar craving. I'm going to take, I have some sugar craving. Yeah, check it out and let me know. The other thing that's good for a sugar craving actually is taking some CBD. And, and the way you take CBD, let me just demonstrate because it's fun. You shake it up, squeeze the bottle, one squeeze, Right. You don't want to ever get it on your shirt. Never get it on your shirt. Oh, I know. I did that once and it came out. Let it sit under your tongue for uh -huh. about 30 seconds. So I'm keeping it under my tongue and gradually absorb. Mm -hmm. So if it absorbs that way, there's less to go through. It's the CBD that carries a lot of the medicinal properties. Helps to, helps to sleep. Um, helps the immune system. Helps the gut actually helps leaky gut, which we hear a lot about. So it helps the, the gut to heal. Uh, it's good for the heart. I mean, you name it, and it has a role because the endocannabinoid system goes throughout the body. So you can have depression, anxiety, um, different um, gut problems, which it sounds like it may not be the role of a psychiatrist, but actually the gut is very much connected to the brain. What would you say about everything that's happening right now? Do you have any insights? Um, there are many levels to look at it, right. but I, I see it as a reset. It's a reset for each of us individually, a reset for the planet. We're noticing how uh, nature has, has done a reset. You know, wildlife has um, expanded. Uh, the, na the national parks without visitors have grown hugely in terms of the wildlife and the foliage and everything else. And we ourselves, we're, we're home. We have more time to think about our lives. Uh, some people, unfortunately, have... Um, lost jobs, lost work. That's right. another reset, very unfortunate reset. Um, but it's forced us to become more contemplative and more um, self-analytical. And I think that's, that's a good thing too. Yeah, and the important thing is to support your immune system. You know, you asked what to do, you know, what are the three things? Well, the third thing is support your immune system. And that is make sure you're taking vitamin C, at least two grams a day. Make sure your vitamin D level is up at least at 50. And that you have to measure. But I have all my patients on 5,000 units anyway. But some people even need 10,000 units a day. And it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Although you should measure your level. You don't want to get way high. 
I can't tell you how many people have texted me in the last month that they're not sleeping. It's one of the big problems right now. And what, what would you suggest for sleep? I know you mentioned CBD, mentioned meditating. I know taking electronics out of your bedroom at night is huge. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you, you got it. And don't do overstimulating things at bedtime. Gradually wind down, have dim lighting. Don't be on your computer or your phone till the last minute. Some people are more sensitive to this than others. Right. Um, but be aware that it can interfere with your sleep. Melatonin is helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've taken melatonin. It, I have crazy dreams on melatonin, but it does. Uh, then, you don't, then you may not need it. When people have really sufficient melatonin right it it leads to overly vivid dreams and some people even get like crazy dreams like yeah yeah that's what happens to me sometimes i'll take it and i'll be like oh my gosh what a crazy dream that was yeah yeah so that means you probably have sufficient melatonin melatonin comes from serotonin right it's converted which comes from tryptophan which is a protein but you also need a little bit of carb to get it across the blood brain barrier or you if you need by the way, if you're anxious and depressed and um, you're looking for the right amino acid, it's usually tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan, which will help to calm you down and give you a better mood. I take the 5-HTP when I'm particularly stressed, and I, I notice a difference right away. Yeah. yeah. One thing you should note is some people, if they take 5-HTP at bedtime, get um, overstimulated because 5-HTP can increase what's called cortisol, which is our stress hormone. And some of us are running such high cortisols right now that they may be better off taking tryptophan instead. Now I'm getting esoteric, but might as well. You got me here. You might as well. <laughs> might as well. Because you know, what I really do is check people's amino acids. I can do that with a questionnaire and just let them know what amino acids they should be right. taking. Oh, that's great. Well, Hyla, thank you so much for sharing with everyone today. What beautiful information. And I just love you and the work you're doing in this world. I'm so grateful to you for everything you bring that you, you have uh, focused your practice um, with more of a natural approach and helping people to help themselves, which is, there's nothing more important. Exactly. You got it. You got it. Thank you. And thank you for the work you're doing. Oh. You bring this passionate living into people's living rooms and it's just it's beautiful how you do it you take yourself and just spread spread the joy and passion and it's great thank Thank you you. thanks for being you oh thank you one of the gazillion reasons i love you (laughs) (laughs) all right we'll have you back again real soon i'm looking forward to that Love love to Did you know that Erie and Niagara counties are some of the least healthy in all of New York State? So we've launched Healthy Communities 2030 to help empower our Buffalo Niagara region to be healthier. Thank you, Lucy and Michaela. If you want to be part of Healthy Communities 2030 as a partner or a sponsor, please visit creatinghealthycommunities.org. Healthy Communities 2030. Give us a call, 716-851-4052. Rosina, this is so cool. What are we going to do with our blanket this week? Can we put it in a boat? Oh my god, look at flamingos! Hi! Hello. I have a quick question. I'm Kat. I'm Val. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Val. Um, I have a quick question. We do this thing every week where we put out a blanket and we wait for a magic, like the perfect guest to show up on our magical blanket. Could we put it in a flamingo boat and just kind of like do something like that? Sure. I mean, whatever floats your boat. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so, Rosina, I'm going to stick the blanket right here on this flamingo. What do you think? Okay. All right. Like, if I fall in the water, will you save me? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Thanks a lot, Rosina. <laughs> All right, let's try it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> See, I almost did fall. The boat was going further. It was like a bad movie or something. <laughs> All right. So we'll sit in the other flamingo and we'll wait and see if someone sits on this one. Okay. All right. Oh, hey. Hello. Um, is this boat taken? No, you can have it if you like. Can I sit on this one sure. with the blanket? Need help it? Maybe. Let me see. Oh, wow. Oh, this is pretty cool. Thank you. Oh my God, it's Allison Pipitone. I love her so much. I am one of her biggest fans. She is just the most amazing musician. She sat across from us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, hi. Holy cow. Allison, I can't believe you sat on our blanket today. This is so cool. I haven't seen you in years. It's been years. Wow. Kat, Rosina, how's it going, guys? Good. You're still doing your music. I hope you better be doing your music because I love, love, love your music. Thank you. I'm still doing music. I'm taking up, starting to take up some boating, so I figured I would practice here at Hoyt Lake on the swan. Um, well, Allison, actually, this is a flamingo, not a swan. Just, just <laughs> wanted to let you know if you're going to be practicing your boating, you know, not to get in the wrong animal. That's okay. Oh, see, I said I'm just starting boating. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, Allison, aside from like learning boating on flamingos, <laughs> what are you working on? Oh, I'm playing music still, writing music. Um, I've been teaching. I teach at uh -huh. Fredonia and I teach at Buffalo Schools a wow. little bit. Wow. So, I'm keeping busy with a lot of different things. What have you been doing during this time? Have you written any new songs? Yep, I'm writing a lot. It's a good time for writing when you just have a lot of time alone. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've been writing a lot of stuff, and I have a recording set up in my house. Um, how did you get into music? Oh, Rosina. How old are you, Rosina? Thirteen. Okay, when I was about thirteen, I just started loving rock and roll music and blues music, and I took guitar lessons with my dad's guitar. And then eventually, when I was eighteen, I got my own guitar, electric, got my own band, and I just sort of couldn't put it down. That's the thing. I just loved it so much. So I, it ta it's just something that I guess I could say it's my passion. You have, to, you have to start living your dream and you have to sort of change what you think about as success. Like just, just sometimes the fact that you're doing it, right. that you're writing or you're creating or you're playing and you're learning, that is success. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go through their whole life and they think it's a pipe dream, I can never do it. But um, that's that's not an option you have anything you want to do anything you feel like you in your heart you have a love for you have to like go to go in that direction okay. and see where it takes you but look at this beautiful day how could anyone not be happy oh my god Allison it's so what a how perfect that you would sit down today on our magic blanket I know what do you think that's so serendipitous serendipitous great word too Thank you. You could use that in a song now today. You could I go will. back and write a serendipitous what song. What rhymes with serendipitous, Rosina? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> Spina bifidus? <laughs> there it is. Now, Allison, we do this thing where we close our eyes every week, and I want you to like maybe play one of your songs, and we'll be able to hear it. Do, would you have really? a song you, can you could that? like? Yeah. All right, I got a good one. All right. Want to close our eyes? Let's close our eyes. Okay. Okay, great. Let's do it, Rosita. Maybe I needed you to erase me. Wave your wand and replace me. And so I go. thousand times so I said God yes to it all and I found a place to fall you can write it on my stone how I never left you alone how I never left you alone oh my god Rosina that was the most beautiful song. Alice, 
Allison's gone. It's like, wow. it's like what? Someone erased her. Someone erased her. Wow. That really was magical. I wonder what? if she was ever really there. We're finally getting a ride on the little flamingo. Yeah. Oh, it's a flamingo? It looks like a swan. Rosina, this is clearly a flamingo. I don't know oh. what you and Allison are thinking. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on our adventure of passionate living. My passion for doing this show is to provide you with information and inspiration to live an even healthier, happier life. And I want to genuinely thank you for being here today as a viewer. A special thanks to our sponsors, WBBZ TV, your true hometown station, and to Healthy Communities 2030 for all the great work they do in the field of health and wellness. Passionate Living airs every Tuesday and Thursday on WBBZ TV at 8 p.m. And if you'd like to see a replay, join us on Friday evenings for a watch party on our Passionate Living Facebook page. You can also view this show at passionateliving.com and wbbz.tv. I'd like to leave you today with a quote from one of my favorite people, Bob Ross. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. We'll see you soon for our next adventure of passionate living.